Hello, this is a quick video on um, thermoforming process. So this is a REN block. We cut it to size once your company sends us the files. Then we'll load it into our CNC machine and start cutting the product wells out to spec, uh, all according to your, dry, your drawings. This is a quick video uh, showing the programming stage to set up the tool paths in order to cut your, uh, your block. So these are all the different tools going around, cutting the final shape and size. Again, this is just an animation uh, on our toolpath program, uh, so you can foresee any issues before you put the material into the CNC machine. And now we're cutting the product wells. And once they turn yellow, uh, that tells us that they are within spec with tolerances. So everything works out well. And then we know that we are ready to run this program in our CNC machines. Same thing goes for aluminum. Um, we will cut the block. Again, it can be anywhere between you know, a quarter of an inch draw up to four and five eighths. <clears throat> this is the aluminum now in the machine being CNC to size. This is what we call tracking and back drill. So that is what the vacuum will be traveling through in the mold. You see the mold is green. Sometimes we um, paint this with Teflon. It allows the plastic to release from the mold faster and easier. Now we throw that mold into our sample machine. The operator will place the material down, clamp it. Now it goes back into the oven to heat up. Once it reaches temperature, it will slide back out. The mold will come up through, vacuum turned on, and it forms. That needs to dry off for a second or two. It will unclamp, and then the operator can take it out of the machine. Uh, for samples, we trim by hand. Uh, once we hit production, there will be a die made, and after it's cut to size, uh, any decoration that is needed for the job uh, will be done as a second operation. This is a quick video of our inline machine for large production runs. As you see, the material comes in on rolls and is uh, fed into the machine. It goes into the heater section, um, heats up for a cycle or two, then goes into the forming station here where the parts form. Then there's a cooling station in between, and next it goes to the die cutting form. Again, this is all in line. Then the worker chooses the die cut pieces out of the machine. Once she gets the pieces, the scrap is then wound up for recycling and they get palletized. 